snow is starting off our morning once again, but your chances decrease as the day goes on. We're laying out what to expect for the remainder of the week. We are tracking your morning commute. We'll show you where the snow plows have been and where they still need to go. Washington special election results are in. We have what passed this morning. Welcome to Crime 2 Morning News on the CW22. It is 7 a.m. now on this Wednesday. I'm Brittany Bailey. And I'm Jen York. Thanks so much for being with us. We are tracking a number of school delays and closures this morning. Spokane Public Schools are running on a two hour delay this morning. Some of the latest also coming in Pullman and Colton also on a two hour delay. We do have a long list of closures today as well. Lake Ponderé and Kellogg, we haven't mentioned in a while. Some of the most recent ones, the Coeur d'Alene Tribal School, Knoxon, Wallace, and Boundary County. All of those districts are closed today that I just mentioned. You can also find the full list, though, on your screen there and also on creme.com and scrolling along the bottom of your screen. Here at 701, we want to check in with Evan and Ronnie in the Weather Center. Evan, you're saying we might get a brief break from the snow here in the near future. That's exactly right. It looks like our chances of snow drop off as the morning continues, but it doesn't last very long. You can see on satellite radar how uh, overnight we saw plenty of those snow showers just kind of following along I-90. Now as we get into our 7 o'clock hour and we give you a little bit of a closer look without that cloud cover, you can see that showers are beginning to clear out of the Spokane and uh, Coeur d'Alene area, Spokane County, Kootenai County, pushing farther southeast. Uh, but here are our chances here in Spokane of snow hour by hour. We're going to stay dry from about uh, 9 a.m. onward. We're only at about a 10% chance of those snow showers. We should see partly cloudy skies to end the day. That doesn't last for too long. It will continue into tomorrow morning and a portion of the afternoon before the next round of rain starts off, followed by snow. Current temperatures outside are a little bit warmer. We're still under that southeasterly or southwesterly flow of wind uh, and air that is uh, providing slightly warmer temperatures than what we've been used to the last uh, few weeks. 27 degrees right now in Spokane, 30 in Coeur d'Alene, and 21 in Ritzville. Now, as I mentioned, we are dry uh, for the afternoon and evening hours of today, but we are still seeing that snowfall right now around portions of the northwest. We've only uh, gotten about an inch of snow in Spokane, but uh, some weather spotters over toward Hayden, Idaho, have reported five inches of snow overnight into this morning. So different parts of the northwest seeing different amounts of snow to start off their Wednesday morning, uh, but it is still a good idea, obviously, to take it slower on the road. Roads, and that is why we sent things over to Kara Alfallon in the mobile storm tracker, who's letting us know what it looks like outside right now. Hi, Kara. Yes, good morning, Evan. Well, here in the Spokane Valley, things conditions vary again across the region. Here on Sprague, you're seeing compact snow. Um, the thing that you're really going to notice is that you can't really tell which lane you're in because of the snow that's covering the roads. Also, a lot of the sidewalks are covered in snow. We've seen several people kind of walking in the street this morning because they can't really walk through the sidewalk because that is covered um, from the snow, from the snow plows. So you might want to also watch out for pedestrians as you're driving this morning. Slick conditions across the region um, in those areas. Areas of slush and compact snow still pretty uh, slick this morning. And then when you're leaving your neighborhood this morning as well, uh, snow conditions pretty thick in the neighborhood. Still, I know a lot of plows haven't hit those areas yet, even though we have seen plenty of snow plows out this morning. Uh, so just be sure to give yourself extra time as you leave uh, your neighborhood this morning. If you do live in a neighborhood, um, if you did dig your car out yesterday, you might want to do that today because it's only going to get tougher as you let the snow kind of sit there. <coughs> excuse me this morning. Uh, so conditions are still pretty slick this morning. Morning. Just give yourself extra time as you head out the door and you should be good. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Kira, thank you so much. We also want to get a check of the conditions in North Idaho this morning. Our photojournalist Al Lozano is there right now. Al, what are you seeing? Looks like someone's backing up in traffic. There. <laughs> hey, good That's morning, not good. Brittany. And... <laughs> good morning, Brittany and Jen. I am at the intersection of Spokane Street and Celtis Way where uh, drivers are having a little bit of trouble starting out because there is a pretty thick layer of ice on the road. I have seen um, sand trucks out, so you can see a little bit of sand has been laid down, and I have seen also plows uh, on the side streets, but uh, I had a little bit of trouble myself starting out. Uh, drivers seem to be doing handling it well. Um, I'm still headed over to Coeur Lane, and we'll check that out on next time I check in with you. Back to you. All right, Al, thank you so much. A check on those conditions in North Idaho this morning. Now we want to get a check of the conditions around other parts of our region with our traffic reporter, Kylie Strandberg. Good morning. Uh, yeah, we are seeing traffic pickups, and we're seeing 
some snow covered roads and some pretty slick roads so you're going to want to take some extra time on uh, your morning commute. Uh, looks like traffic is uh, flowing pretty regularly right now but you're still going to want to take it pretty slow. Um, Brittany, Jen, I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you. All right, Kylie, thank you so much. Well, this morning we also want to get a check of the roads that have been plowed in Spokane so far. Now you may remember the city restarted the full city plow on Monday after an earlier full city plow during the weekend. So we want to take a look at the current snow removal map. Here you see it. We want to let you know that the areas in green, those are the roads that have been plowed and are now finished. The blue, that is where crews are still working to clear the roads and the red, those streets have not been plowed quite yet. So of course you can zoom in, zoom around, find your own neighborhood and street to get a check there. You can find a link to this map on our website at crim.com. And we are still tracking a major road closure this morning. You see it there. We're talking about the stretch of Interstate 90 over Snoqualmie Pass. It is still closed this morning. It is closed from North Bend to Ellensburg because of severe weather and avalanche danger. Troopers say they will reevaluate those conditions though in a few hours coming up are a couple of hours now at 9 a.m. Yesterday, troopers led multiple, multiple rather semi trucks and other cars off the pass. Trooper Rick Johnson says they helped to get more than 250 vehicles to safety. To avoid avalanche danger, the vehicles were escorted to North Bend in the eastbound lanes. And here is why the conditions are so bad. Take a look. Watchdog reports Snoqualmie <laughs> Pass saw 53 inches of snow in just 48 hours. The department tweeted this photo of the avalanche supervisor. You might be able to see there the snow goes up to his stomach. That level was only expected to get higher though with overnight snow. We're still waiting to see new reports though this morning. Well, here is some good news. We can report at least one highway is back open this morning. Highway 24 is now open in both directions from the junction of Highway 243 to mile post 74. That is five miles southwest of Othello. 707 now Spokane County voters had their say on five special election measures this morning. We have the results. The city of Spokane's Prop 1 passed. That will help to fund police and firefighting programs. It passed with 64% of the votes. Now Spokane Mayor David Condon issued a statement. It said in part Spokane voters clearly have told us they would like enhanced public mm -hmm. safety services, so we will deliver a thoughtful spending plan for those dollars that is sustainable as part of the 2020 budget. Spokane Valley Fires Prop 1 also passed. That one replaces an expiring levy. It also increases property taxes to fund operations and maintenance. We do have more information and results from the other races on our website, creme.com. Now it is 7.08 on the dot now on this Wednesday. We do have some guests in the studio today. We are sitting down with Hospice of Spokane to find out how you can help. And so far overnight, we've seen an inch of snow, but reports toward North Idaho are heavier, around five inches of snow overnight. We are going to be seeing a little bit of a break and then a return to that wintry weather. It's not going anywhere. We're talking about it after the break. Anybody could be